Sam Smith, L M F A O. I'm with you, buddy. Um, I just I looked at a picture of him with uh, wearing a sofa yesterday. Remember that one? Maybe he's got to work for DFS. Um, the Selector, yeah, great songs, great, great songs. Now, I was never, I kind of, I, I dotted between the genres because there was so much from sort of early 70s. You had Motown and Led Zeppelin, one of my favourite, favourite bands, as well as Earth, Wind & Fire, one of my favourite, favourite bands. My, my taste's very eclectic. <coughs> Radio stations, when I was at Rock FM. Adrian Allen, 974 Rock FM. The place to be. It was, it was only just coming in because um, uh, two guys over at uh, Key 103 who were running Key 103 um, were, were using focus groups, were, were using sort of intel to work out which songs were the best songs to play on the radio. Now, there were some songs that were, that sounded fabulous on the radio, kind of um, American orientated rock or MOR, AOR, whatever you want to call it. This is... Cool, blimey. 93. So <laughs> it's 30 years ago. And, and, and what Rock FM did was we de- I went in there as head of music. So I was looking after all the music that was pumped out on the radio station. And it was, it was made by computer because we wanted to make the playlist tighter. And this is why today and some comments have said, oh, I tune into this radio station. It's the same 20 songs. Correct. Because they will research with the audience those 20 songs and they'll play them and the art is getting as big an audience as possible and if your favorite song is coming on every two or three hours and that's a really tight rotation as they call it in radio then um people love it you have to remember that people are not listening the way that they used to listen they're not listening all day and or all night they're not listening for an hour a day at all, which is why they can research the songs. And I'm trying to think, uh, Waiting for a Start to Fall. Waiting for a Start to Fall. Can't remember the band. But in radio, it was known to be a great song. So we researched it through our focus groups at Rock FM. And the audience didn't like it. And we couldn't understand it because it's a great radio song. Or so we thought. No. Audience didn't like it. Our audience at Rock FM did not want it played, so we never played it. There was a song by the Beautiful South that was an album track, and we, I, I can't remember why we decided we were going to play it, but it was, it was a cover version. And it came back as the top performing song in the focus groups. The focus groups loved it. And we were sitting there going, how are we going to play this? Well, let's play it for a week. Let's put it on the playlist for a week and see how it goes. Boy Meets Girl, thank you very much. Thank you very very much, Peter. Boy Meets Girl, waiting for a start to fall. We thought that was a great radio song. It sounds fabulous on the radio. Audience didn't like it. The audience hated it. So this Beautiful South song, which was an album version, and we couldn't work out how the audience knew it. I think it was a cover version. And we played it for a week. Boom! It went up. It, I mean, it was the best performing songs. And the audience of a radio station doesn't get into a song until eight or ten weeks in on a playlist. This was this was 30 years ago, and I'm sure it stands as true today as it did then. And the audience will listen, and they'll go, oh, I quite like that. So they'll just pot around at home or at work or in the van or in the car, and it'll come on, and they'll kind of either whistle along to it um, or that they will engage with it, but it takes them eight to ten weeks. It's not going to happen in a week. Never. I, I agree. This, uh, squeeze. Some fabulous songs. Jethro Tull. Nice. Caravan of Love. No, it wasn't uh, not, not Beautiful Sam. Was that? Uh, that was Hash Martins. Not Beautiful Sam. <coughs> but it was back in 93, 94. I, joined, I went back to Rock FM. I was there in 1990. I went back in 93 as head of music and mid mornings. And we used to use focus groups and we used them all the time it, it takes a long while to be able to play the hits gold as it's termed or used to be termed but the modern day playlist it's it's done by instinct and you can play it down the phone and the the, the focus groups will kind of go eh, mm, uh, mm, well um 
Mike C. The Dooleys were good. Are you single, Mike? <laughs>